For millennia, scientists have pieced together the story of our ancestors, humans and their close relatives, through fossilized bones and teeth found scattered across the world. Fossils provide a skeletal roadmap, telling us when hominins lived, what they ate, and sometimes even how they moved. But now, a new discovery is adding an extra layer to that understanding. Genetic data from the oldest hominin fossils ever examined. Researchers have managed to extract and analyze genetic material from teeth of ancient hominins that lived over two million years ago, shattering previous records and providing new insights into early human evolution. It is a find that has the potential to transform our understanding of how we are related to other hominin species. Around 7 million years ago is the estimated emergence point for humans and our ancestors. The evolutionary path leading to modern humans diverged from that of our closest living relatives, the chimpanzees. This divergence marked the dawn of the hominins, a diverse group encompassing modern humans, homo sapiens, and all our extinct ancestors and relatives who emerged after that split. For millions of years, various hominin species rose, thrived, and ultimately vanished, leaving behind their remains. Among this cast of early hominins was a group known as Paranthropus, living alongside and sometimes competing with early members of our own genus, Homo, Paranthropus represented a distinct branch on the hominin family tree. One particular species, Paranthropus robustus, inhabited the landscapes of southern Africa. As their name suggests, these were robustly built hominins, characterized by powerful skulls, large cheekbones, and enormous molar teeth, adaptations likely suited for processing tough, fibrous plant materials. While clearly hominins, their specialized anatomy marked them as different from the lineage that would eventually lead to us. This brings us to South Africa's cave system of Swartkrans, where key fossils have been found in recent years, and where this latest discovery has its roots. Archaeologists unearthed several fossils belonging to Paranthropus robustus. These finds were dated between 1.8 and 2.2 million years old, making them invaluable for understanding the evolution of hominins in this region. But extracting genetic information from fossilized teeth over millions of years is not an easy task. DNA is a remarkably delicate molecule. Once an organism dies, the cellular machinery that repairs DNA stops working. The long strands begin to break down, attacked by water, oxygen, background radiation, and microbes in the soil. Heat and humidity are particularly brutal accelerators of this decay. For many years, the oldest successfully sequenced human DNA came from relatively cold environments where degradation processes are significantly slowed. A landmark was the sequencing of DNA from Neanderthal remains found in the Cima de los Huesos cave in Spain, dating back some 430,000 years, a remarkable feat, but still far removed from the earliest chapters of hominin evolution in Africa. Faced with this DNA barrier, scientists began exploring alternatives in proteins. Proteins are the workhorses of the cell, constructed based on instructions encoded in DNA. Their building blocks are amino acids, strung together in specific sequences dictated by the genes. While proteins also degrade over time, some types, particularly those embedded within hard protective structures like tooth enamel or bone, can persist for much longer than DNA. The sequence of amino acids in a protein fragment directly reflects the DNA sequence of the gene that coded for it. Therefore, by sequencing ancient proteins, a field known as paleoproteomics, scientists can infer parts of the original genetic code. Early successes demonstrated the potential. A significant breakthrough came from analyzing an 800,000-year-old tooth belonging to Homo antecessor, an early human species found in Spain. Now, researchers have turned their attention to the two-million-year-old Paranthropus robustus teeth from South Africa. Using a sophisticated technique called mass spectrometry, the research team analyzed tiny samples drilled from the enamel of four Paranthropus teeth. The results were astonishing. From these two-million-year-old teeth, the team successfully sequenced approximately 400 amino acids across several enamel proteins. While this represents only a fraction of the organism's entire proteome, or indeed its genome, it provided unprecedented genetic data from such a deep time depth for a hominin. One of the most immediate and fascinating revelations came from a protein called amylogenin. This protein plays a role in enamel formation, 
and critically, the gene that codes for it is located on the sex chromosomes. There's a slightly different version of the gene on the X chromosome, AMELX, compared to the Y chromosome, AMELY. These differences result in subtle variations in the amino acid sequence of the amelogene and protein they produce. By detecting these sequence variations in the ancient protein samples, the researchers could confidently determine the biological sex of the individuals. Two of the Paranthropus fossils contained the Y chromosome version of the protein, amelogen and Y, identifying them as males. The other two lacked this form, instead showing the X chromosome version, indicating they were females. For the first time, we could assign sex to million-year-old hominin fossils based on molecular data. Beyond determining sex, the recovered amino acid sequences held clues about evolutionary relationships. Although the data was limited compared to what a full genome sequence would provide, the 400 sequenced amino acids contained enough phylogenetic signal, information about evolutionary history, to construct a basic evolutionary tree. The researchers compared the Paranthropus protein sequences to those of modern humans, or Homo sapiens, Neanderthals, and Denisovans. The results confirmed what paleoanthropologists had long inferred from skeletal anatomy. Paranthropus sits on a separate branch of the hominin tree. The analysis showed that Homo sapiens, Neanderthals, and Denisovans are all more closely related to each other than any of them are to Paranthropus robustus. This reinforces the view of Paranthropus as an evolutionary cousin, not a direct ancestor on the lineage leading to modern humans. While these protein sequences couldn't resolve the exact branching order among the earliest hominins or pinpoint whether Paranthropus branched off before or after the emergence of the Homo genus, they provided direct molecular evidence corroborating hypotheses based on morphology. Of course, it's important to maintain perspective. Ancient protein analysis, while powerful, currently yields less information than sequencing ancient DNA when it is available. Nevertheless, the recovery of two million-year-old genetic information from Paranthropus robustus marks a pivotal moment. It demonstrates that the molecular record of our deep past extends further back than previously thought possible through conventional DNA methods. This technique could potentially be applied to countless other enigmatic fossils from deep time, particularly those found in Africa and Asia, where DNA preservation is notoriously poor. Think of species like Australopithecus africanus, or perhaps even earlier hominins. Could we use proteins to clarify their relationships, determine their sex, or gain other molecular insights? It offers a new tool to investigate branches of the human family tree that have remained silent at the molecular level. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel and comment your thoughts below. Farewell.